Hey, you over there. Have you just been given a humanitarian engineering project and now you're feeling a bit lost? My name is Serena and these are my friends David hey. and Prince. Hi. We are EWBers and we're also in our final year of engineering. We were once sitting exactly where you are now and know how you're feeling. So we're here to help you get started. Before we submerge into the approach we'll be looking at, let's take a step back for a minute and talk about a common mistake people make when starting a new project. And that is falling in love with a design idea that could be great, but it might be solving a problem that doesn't exist. This is when the human-centered design approach can be of great help. Hey guys, fancy seeing you here. Would you mind explaining what human-centered design is? Hey, sure. Human-centered design is an approach to solve problems that relies on constant feedback and reiterations to come up with creative and innovative solutions that fit the needs of the stakeholders just right every time. The human-centered design, or HCD approach, consists of six stages. Discover, empathize, ideate, screen, prototype, and communicate. Let's start with discover. During this stage, you should explore all the resources available about the people and the context you're designing for. This will help you build enough knowledge to make educated guesses if needed later in the process. Then we have the empathizing stage. The aim of this stage is to put on the shoes of your stakeholders and understand their perspective, context, needs and priorities. At the end of this stage, you should be able to develop an appropriate how might we question that defines the challenge you will be addressing. We will come back to this concept later on. Next up is ideation. This is where you should let your mind run wild. Just not too wild. That's right, friends. While you come up with ideas, remember to keep your mind open, withheld judgment, and generate as many ideas as possible. Next is a screen. You should now have a large list of potential ideas, perhaps too many to implement, so the next step is to narrow them down. Once you have decided on an idea, then you move into prototyping, where you develop a model to test your design and receive stakeholder feedback. In the last stage of the human-centered design approach, you present your ideas and models to the stakeholders. As you probably noticed already, the HD approach is not a linear process, and you often find yourself going backwards and forwards, reiterating through the stages, until you come up with a suitable, well-fitted solution. Now that you know about the different stages of the human-centered design approach, we will bring Serena back to explain how everything works together. Thanks guys! Here is another visual representation of the HCD approach. The first diamond is made up of the discover and empathize stages. It's essential that you have a well-defined how might we question before moving on to the second diamond where you create your solution. So how do you know if your how might we question is the right question? One way to check is to make sure it's smart. And by smart, I mean it should be specific, measurable, appropriate, realistic, and time-bound. Hey Zerina, how about a smart example? Go for it, David. Alright, let's say, how might we improve the efficiency of the energy sector in Cambodia? This question is probably not smart enough, since it doesn't specify which type of energy, or by how much it aims to increase the efficiency, or by when, or where in Cambodia. With this question, it would be really hard to come up with an appropriate solution. A better how might we question would be, how might we increase the number of households using the energy efficient light bulbs in Krasi Town by 15% by the end of 2018? Let's analyze it. Is it specific, measurable, appropriate, realistic, and time bound? If you feel like your how might we question is not quite right yet, you should reiterate the first diamond as many times as you need until you're happy with the result. Oh my goodness! That is a lot of information. Let's bring everyone back to revisit the important points. When starting a project, make sure you begin by discovering and empathizing. Remember you're trying to find what your high my weak question is. And for that you will use divergent thinking during the discovery stage and then start narrowing down using converging thinking while you empathize. Make sure your question is smart before moving on to the next stages of the human-centered design approach. Keep in mind, this approach is not a linear process and it is normal to go to and fro between different stages. Just remember to use the tools, understand the process and trust in it even if it feels uncomfortable. Now you know how to get started. We wish you the best of luck with your project. Bye! Bye. Created using Powtoon.